Hey guys, so today I'm gonna to talk about Lifeline and the R301 and the Volt on why I think that's a great OP loadout and character selection in Apex Legends. If you guys are a new viewer, if you guys are a subscriber, just hit the like button, show some support. Let's get this video rolling. And without further ado, let's get this car moving and let's talk about Lifeline, Volt, and R301. Let's get it. All right, guys, so let's kick things off and talk about why the Volt and I say Lifeline is a pretty good combo, OP combo. Uh, you guys already know with Lifeline, you guys can revive a teammate uh, and use the drone as an additional support cast while you can continue to shoot and defend your teammate or other teammate uh, on the ground. Uh, but the Volt, man, this gun being a new weapon in season six, playing with the gun. A few times already um you know i haven't been playing apex a lot but the games that i have been playing when i pick up the vault it's pretty clean uh, i'll put it up there with the r301 uh just the recoil uh the feedback uh the damage that it does uh, it's a really good gun to pick up and if you're using lifeline with a vault man you're gonna do some great stuff so i'm gonna show you guys in this video what i mean by that in terms of obviously some lifeline tips and tricks but also the vault in combination with the R301, giving you guys a really good combo and showing you guys some really awesome stuff and some uh, pretty cool gameplay. So uh, overall, you know, I've been liking the season uh, six uh, additions, you know, obviously the map changes they've done so far. Um, you know, I, I do feel like this game does need that new map. Um, you know, there's so much that you can do on a current level and you know make changes and i feel like they need to add that new map in rotation or just wipe out these two maps and bring the new one uh, just to bring something new and fresh uh, obviously they did bring out a new character rampart which is pretty cool when you look at it uh from the outside looking in i still haven't played as that character i'm still trying to collect uh my currency to unlock that character along with the other legends which it's like a pain in my butt to unlock them because on my xbox i actually had them all and now on pc you're like starting from the ground up but don't worry, I'll definitely get there eventually. But I do feel like this game is missing something. Uh, even just doing some uh, LTM modes and changing things up. I know they did a, a change up on the shields uh, recently. Uh, they reverted back to the original style. So there's a lot of things that they're making tweaks on. I feel like they're listening to the community and uh, making the changes that they find fit. But I do feel, um, you know, besides them, you know, adding new characters, which is awesome. I do like new characters. I do feel like they do need to add something new and fresh in terms of a new map uh just so it doesn't stale down this game still has the hype it still has the people watching uh but i do feel as a player that's been playing since the original season uh a new map will definitely uh, spark much more interest and uh freshen things up so all right one of the things that i always do guys is i'm gonna speed things up and get you guys to the point of some action so right now i'm just obviously getting everything that i need you guys already know get everything pick up that bolt get the r through one get your grenades get everything get suited up uh right now i'm just playing in terms of playing aggressive uh one thing that i've learned playing this game as you progress and get better in terms of leveling up is that you need to take action a lot faster than originally if you're playing obviously newbies and playing a low level like bronze you don't really need to play fast but when you're playing against some skillful players, you need to move fast to be that third party team to even just get to that situation so you guys can rack up some kills and get into the, to some action. Because you could stay back, uh, chill for a minute, and just wait till you guys get to the final ring. That's cool, but for me, that's very slow. I like to get to the point, if I die, I die. If I pick up some kills, awesome, let's keep going. I like to be in the action and not just be back there. So right now, we do see an enemy, we're progressing. And we are going to third party, which is what I'm talking about and getting into some uh, pretty cool scenarios. So right now, remember, I'm lifeline. I got my bolt out. About to take it out. Shoot. Very clean recoil. You guys can see it's a very clean recoil. There goes Rampart and their teammates. I'm starting to shoot. You just want to let them know that you're there so they don't peek out. You know, you might miss some shots. You might not even shoot them. But at least letting them know that you're there will cause damage. Here we go. Slide. Do some damage. We take them out. Remember, there's multiple teams around now. Now we're in the center of the action. So we have to keep our eyes peeled, use cover points, 
and make sure we actually have enough shields and med kits. So Bloodhound got taken down. Remember, Lifeline can revive them with the bot. So let's go over there. With the Xbox, you gotta kinda have to double tap to get that animation going. Here we go. Take them down. They're weak. They should have healed up. I'm going for the quick kill. There we go. Now on the backside, we hear some movement. I'm trying to see what to do. Where do they go? They're on that side. So remember, there's two up front, two in the back. So now things are getting intense. I throw my health drone to get some health. It helps my teammate as well and then rotate around. So I'm trying to move to the next room, take cover, rotate. There they go. There goes lifeline. Apply that pressure. Again, killing them. They're using the shoddy. Didn't work against me again. You know, just you're, you're just playing aggressive. Move, move, move. Don't let them shield up. Again, go with the uh, bolt. There goes another enemy up there. Use the pinging system so your teammates can actually shoot them. There we go. And I'm getting some shots from the vault from a great distance. Uh, again, this gun is very short to mid-range. But I was getting some long-range shots with this gun, which is really good. As long as you guys can control the recoil, you don't have to land 100% of your shots. At least I land 50, even 30, 20. At least you're doing something so your teammates can just finish them off. So again, we're shielding up. Make sure you guys are full and ready to go. We got four kills. We are the kill leader. Again, I'm liking Lifeline. I'm liking the character what she can do in the game um you know obviously with the new buff with the drone and everything she's been able to do i feel like she's gotten way better than the original lifeline and i like the changes they've made to this character because it makes her playable and a much needed legend in a squad so let's let's uh let's fast forward this let's uh let's get this moving because it does slow down a bit oh let's see let's see what we do here i think we do see some uh enemies no, we don't. We don't. Uh, let me move this forward. We're getting some uh, shields. Let me move this forward. All right, let me get this going. Going. So right now we're gonna approach this top section. Now we do hear action. You know, one of the things you guys have to use is if you guys have a set headset. I mentioned this in my videos. That helps a lot. Whether it's earphones, headset, you guys can hear or sound a lot better. And this is where I hear the caustic traps being placed. I'm like, okay, they're above us. I just need Bloodhound to do the scan. So I'm waiting, you know, being patient. There go up there. See, you see the scans. Now it's like, what do I do? I see the traps. My teammate's going up there. My other teammate just AFK, they just left. So now, you know, we're applying the pressure. I'm using the drone. The drone is not reviving me on health, which is interesting. Uh, it probably slid down, but it's okay. Now we're uh, trying to take down that i think that's bangalore yeah i think that is here we go apply the pressure now wipe out the team because we don't want them to get picked up and also take them down because we don't want them to ping that enemy and let them know that we're up here so again just clean house and then i got their uh, loot pick up what you need and continue to progress uh, again i'm going with that r301 which is my favorite weapon because it has good aim and recoil but the vault, the new gun, man, if you guys can pick it up, definitely get it. If I had to choose between the L-Star and the vault, I'm switching to the vault. as my favorite energy weapon, uh, just because how it just continues to shoot. Uh, I like it better than R99. And I know the R99 now is in the red mode, uh, which I think they probably did that for a reason. So you don't like probably use a regular R99 and a vault in combination, but who knows? Uh, but vault, man, it does a lot of work. So let me fast forward this. This is very boring. No need to waste your guys' time. I just want to get to the meat and potatoes. So right now we see the enemies going into that ship. They were down here originally, but we actually were lucky enough to actually make them get distracted. So we progress to the next part of the ring. So look at my map. My map shows the next closure of the ring. So guys, when this is the case for your situation and this part is going to close, well, we have the advantage because the enemy team that's in this ship is going to have to come in through this tunnel, which allows me and Bloodhound to keep this part protected and not allow them to come through. So you're going to see the play we do here. Uh, very smart play. Again, you're holding the choke point and just keeping in position and do not play aggressive. Be patient. Let them come to you. That's always the part of the game. Let them come to you. Let the game come to you. 
don't push it where you're like okay i need to go forward and i need to actually attack and do this all so let's let's get this going and uh let's fast forward this a bit here we go let me go a little bit back guys here we go so they're going here we see the ring closing i have the r301 and volt here we go start taking some damage we got them weak we got octane we got rev here we go whatever i can do you know i'm, I'm shooting some potato shots but remember guys part of the game is you're gonna miss some shots but as long as you guys are shooting them you're good here we go we got a good teammate now we need to move forward we need to push because they're now trying to heal up and all that stuff and just shoot them shoot them there we go now we got six kills now we're back to being the kill leader again using the best weapon i don't pick up the peacekeeper i, I like it but in this situation i like the volt and the r301 it's gotten me this far i might not change my meta you know don't change things if you don't need to guys like if you guys see a good weapon if you guys have been killing it with the current loadout keep it just make sure you guys get all the necessary ammo and shields and med kits and just keep it as is unless you know that you have a weapon that's your favorite go for it make the switch but most of the time just stick to your guns because you've got you've gotten this far so let's get this going we're getting to the end game obviously there's three squads left and the ring closure is closing right by that mountain top so let's get this for movement here my teammate figures out a way on how to get on top but i can't uh, i'm having a hard time uh, i'm not placing my character correctly but you know you know i think if we got up there maybe maybe we could have done something but i think we would have been knocked because they're up there too uh they have the height advantage and it could have caused some issues so we just go down because we can't do it and now what i'm trying to do now is how can we progress you know the ring closure might close by that mountaintop or even further down so we do see bloodhound coming our way i'm just positioning myself to be ready and get them to get that easy kill so right now here we go oh there we go continue to shoot taking down the enemy so we got an assist kill there now two squads there goes i think, that, I think that's bloodhound yeah that's bloodhound got some good shots as you guys can see what the vault and the r301 so you're seeing the vault is just it's just doing work so here we go we got to progress because these missiles are going to hurt us keep moving we have enough shields we have everything that we need to uh protect ourselves and i'm a medic so so we're good here let's keep this going all right so remember the ring is now closing on a partial section of the mountain so now we don't necessarily need to be on the top of the mountain. We can just progress our way to the other part. Uh, kind of like the floor. So here we go. Bloodhound. Take him down. Clean it up. Clean it up. Cool. There we go. Now we're getting closer to the end game. Now it seems like it's 2v2. Have a good teammate. I should have picked up that evil shield. Shouldn't have wasted my shield. But it's all good. Don't worry about it. I'm just trying to like... You know be careful any type of situation just in case the enemies drop down i'm fully shielded so i could have swapped but it's all good so let's progress this right now we're moving forward we're taking some damage down the upper corner of that mountain so one of the things you guys should do is don't pressure my teammate is pressuring they don't need to do that we could just hide behind this rock and let them come down because they have the height advantage they're gonna win regardless if they if they see us so i'd rather just let them come down because if you look at the ring it's going where i'm at so they eventually need to come down uh they're they're at a good spot but not the best position at the end game moment which is the next ring closure so right now i'm trying to hold my position i tell my teammate to step back by just pinging because it just doesn't make sense for him to just expose himself i go back one thing i could have done is actually drop down my uh ultimate but i did in the game but yeah exactly they have to come and i told teammate yes exactly so because we know we don't need to show ourselves we could just stay back stay behind a cliff and let them move forward so let's just stay back let's see what we can do here can we close this out shielding up make sure you guys are fully healed fully ready Oh, here we go they're down so let's continue to shoot do some damage let's go around let's revive my teammate now here what could i have done differently here what i could have done is actually waited here 
Now, I actually go around the car to take down the opponent, or to try to take down the opponent. But what I could have done is just wait here, let them come through, and just shoot pre fire before they even come in. Or I could have just peeked out to my left, allowing my teammate to revive because I'm trying to save him to get up so it's a 2v1. And I do make the mistake of going around the car, so I kind of have him as a decoy. And you guys will see what I mean. So right now, I have him getting up. I go around. He gets taken down. Enemies up top. We're shooting him with the vault. Dealing some damage. Now here is suspect, but whatever. I deal enough damage. Like, come on. One shot. It's all good. It's all good. Probably headshot. That probably dealt 500 damage. That's how I got knocked. But it was a good game. Um, you know, one thing I could have done is obviously shielded up. Because uh, I was just pretty much on bare bones on my health. Uh, which obviously one shot. I could see it. If you had the peacekeeper, um, I could see why that happened. Even the Mast Mastiff, um, I, mean, I could see what happened there. I could have shielded up. I could have helped my teammate to get up. Uh, but again, this is how you guys learn. But the one thing I wanted you guys to take away from this is a combination between the vault and lifeline and what you guys need to do in the game to progress. Uh, especially if you guys don't have a really good aim, you know, picking up the R301 with the vault, it's a pretty good combination. And then lifeline, man, she does wonders because she could help you pick up your teammates while you continue to attack. So like I mentioned, guys, please like the video. If you guys like it, if you guys dislike it, dislike the video and tell me below what you guys thought. Maybe we, we could have improved better. Uh, comment below, subscribe if you guys haven't done so, and uh, I'll catch you guys until the next one. Later.